With the sun's last rays vanishing beyond the horizon, the grating of gravel under paws drowns out the whirring engine. The doggy hides in the shadows, but she won't manage to hide this time. She won't get away like she always could. This time, it's her they came for. A shaking cage and the piercing cold are the harbingers of the coming change. The time of a carefree and peaceful life in a small town is over. What do these people want with her? I'll call you B, the boy says. The cage is gone, replaced by a friendly hand. This hand carries the promise of a new, better life. The actual big day is yet to come.
Mission complete. The boy is applauding, so B shares in his excitement. The fact that there's a scientist standing nearby taking notes and that other dogs are starting on the same track, none of it matters anymore. One or two tests on the track is nothing if it means B can enjoy the rest of her day well fed with a friend at her side. There's a cozy room instead of cages and a bowl of water instead of dry concrete. What used to be a monotonous existence is now enlivened by a boy whose imagination knows no bounds. Give paw. <laughs> Give paw. <laughs> Give paw. <laughs> Jump. Roll! Good girl! If it weren't for the heartbreaking despair in the boy's eyes, B would have thought it was time for another round on the track. She extends her paws toward him receives a teddy bear, and loses sight of her friend. People's self-admiration tends to make their minds as tight as the capsule inside a rocket. The world has shrunk to these few walls which are banging relentlessly, like the cage in the car driving toward the training center. B looks out through a small, round window and dreams of getting out. Again, she finds herself trapped between the same shaking walls. Again, B doesn't know where she's headed. She casts a fearful look, not toward the stars, but at the capsule's casing. She tries to penetrate the metal to ensure that her intuition is correct and that Bobby is still flying out there somewhere on the other side, locked up just like she is. A horrible fireball engulfs the escape pods when a shot from the station hits the space between them. Luckily, the capsules disappear without a trace before the fireball explodes, thanks to the propulsion system that, per its pre-programmed route, carries the capsules far away toward a distant planet. B is terrified as she has just been separated from Bobby. The air's sibilant hiss heralds the inevitable collision with the surface. Miraculously rescued, B's only choice is to trust that the capsule systems can provide better protection from the fall than the planet's breaking tree branches.
Man has always considered the sky to be the final border, and although he considered himself the pinnacle of creation, he sent animals on the first space journey. It is a story about a dog who survived a journey into space to visit foreign planets and meet their inhabitants. And most importantly, find her way home. This is our tribute to the little heroes who risked their lives and paved the way for people to reach the stars.